to configure the crash analytics of Flutter with your iOS application. So there is something that you have to do with your native iOS application and I will show you what you need to do. So in this case first I will go for the documentation okay so there's a good thing you should follow. So uh, what is the flutter crashlytic location after that as then go for the crashlytics okay so the crashlytics is from the firebase okay yes and this is from the firebase community then what then i hope you know well uh, what to do with the android because i hope android is the very common thing and then this is the iOS thing, so this is all I will talk about. Only this port. Uh -uh. Not that. Shit. The selection is pretty much fucked up. Okay. So only this portion I will talk to you about. So this is the only thing I always forget to add. And I hope this is a little bit trickier. So let's see what we need to do. So. If you read this thing from the Xcode runner from the project navigation, select the build phase tab, then go for the add new build phase, then run script phase, then add this script onto the type I script text box. And if you're using Xbox 10, this is Xcode 10, and this is not we are. Uh, I, I don't think anybody is using Xcode 10, so we need to only follow this four step. So first of all, what I will do, I will basically copy this. Fuck. Uh, copy this script and this selection procedure is so much uglier than Windows. Oof! I can't believe myself. I can really copy this thing okay finally I can <laughs> I'm able to copy this thing okay so next what what they have told us from this runner okay so there are basically two folder oh 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 first of all how can you uh, how you you will get this thing okay so from your flutter project just go for open ice module in xcode then you will get something like this and there is two root folder runners and ports ports are typically the dependencies and the downloaded dependencies and runner is the code modules okay so from the runner and then go for the build phases okay then what then you have to add here a uh, script new then new run script phase okay and from here expand this thing and copy whatever you have paste whatever you have copied from this crash lady things okay so just this and you are good to go so this is all if you have to configure when you are using Xcode along with your Firebase project into the fire, uh, Flutter projects, okay? So I know uh, this is a tricky thing. I always forget to add. So at that time, at least, I'm showing you. Okay, it's, this is the way you don't should forget anything like that. Okay. Otherwise, this thing will not work. And there is another thing I want to mention you that if you hadn't already added the Google service info the pill list from your Firebase console, okay, then please add this. And if you don't know how to add this thing, and I will give you a link from where you can find how to add this thing into your project. I hope this is it and let's see you on my next video probably. Goodbye, see you then.